Hi guys, Dr. Wendy Dearborn here from the Laws of Attraction in Action. And that's the laws of attraction.com and the laws of attraction in action right here on Facebook, the group Facebook. Well, guys, uh, we did a show yesterday, uh, My Life, My Choice, our radio show. And really, we, we spoke about who's in control of your life. One of the things that had come up in the show, which I know I have spoken about numerous times, but feel really compelled to speak about today, speak about this morning, is simply this. Sometimes you have to lose what you have to get the desires of your heart. And that can be a serious challenge and it can be difficult to understand when you think about the um, manifestation process. It can be really difficult to understand. You know, why, why can't I have it all? There are so many things that, um, actually I take that back, no, there's not so many things that go with that. In order for you to have what you want, sometimes the thing that you have, the thing, people, places and things that you have need to um, dissolve, they need to, 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 to be removed from the equation. So one, the universal law of space can do what it needs to do. And that's fill that, that vacuum, fill that, that area, fill that space with what you want. And number two, the people, places and things. And if we, if we talk about people, the people or the persons in your life are the things, the thing that is blocking your ability to manifest what you want. You see, the desire of your heart is something that is deep-rooted within you. And I'm talking about true desire. The desire of your heart isn't something that requires you to do, to do the work, as I call it, to do, to, do, to do the manifestation work. You know, the visualization, the affirmation, the, you know, all of, all of that stuff that goes with it. You know, it, 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 it doesn't require it because it's a true desire within your heart. And you see, everything in life, everything that you do in life, no matter what choices you make, are going to be um, galvanized to bring that true desire to the forefront. So I'll, I'll phrase it this way, I'll, I'll use money, you know, I, 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 I'll use money. You're in a relationship and you want money and or a particular lifestyle. And the person that you are with, your significant other, your husband, your, you know, your, 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 your spouse, um, your partner, the person who you are with isn't actually on the same page as you. Now, right there, as it says in scripture, you're unevenly yoked. You're going to be pulling in two different directions. Or you're going to be pulling in a direction and one's lagging behind. That doesn't help. But that being said, your true desire is to have this lifestyle, is to have this wealth, to have the things which are yours, but abundance. The universal abundance says that they're yours and there's nothing wrong with it. Where the issue comes is in is when that person isn't truly on the same page as you. And when that person isn't on the same page as you, sometimes the relationship has to dissolve so the thing, the desire of your heart can come to fruition, can be made manifest. And a lot of people don't understand that. They don't understand why they can't have both or they don't understand why this relationship's gone to hell in a handbasket. They don't understand. But the reality is, is that the universe is acting on the thing that you say that you want. The universe known to me as God, the universal creator known to me as God, the universal architect, architect, it could be, you call, you call it God, Buddha, Muhammad, spirit, Krishna, it doesn't matter. Whatever your chosen deity is, moves energy so therefore will move people places and things based on what you say the desire of your heart is based on what you know the desire of your heart is 
You see, the things that are desirous within your heart, you already believe. And as you believe, you will receive. That's a universal law. Whatever spiritual text I've read, it, or it, it says it. Metaphysical, spiritual, new thought, whatever it is. Wiccan, it, whatever it is, it says it. And it's a fact. So when you are looking at your life, and it appears that your life has been turned upside down. It appears that a tsunami has come along and just wiped everything out. Recognize that God, the universal creator, has moved people, places, and things in a huge way. So that th that desire that you have can come to fruition. It can be made manifest. So... Saying that, what I would say to you guys is simply this, the advice that I would give. And I don't often give advice. Um, and that's the truth. I don't give advice because everybody is on their journey. But the advice that I would give is simply this. Know what it is that you really want for self. Know the desire, the true desire that you have in your heart. Know that this thing is alive and it will be made manifest at all costs that's the word that's been given to us the desires in your heart are a belief your beliefs will be made manifest look at the things that you really want and with the partner in your life or the partners even your family whatever it is look at the relationship and make sure that that relationship is in alignment with what you want Make sure that relationship is in alignment with what you want. Because I'm here to tell you, if that relationship isn't in alignment with what you want, the true desire of your heart will be made manifest. You can't stop that. You can't stop that. Or you change your desire. You can change your desire. You do have choice to do that. You can change your desire. So make sure you're in alignment. And of course, for those of you who know me, you know, my thing is to always ask yourself, what does it look like for mm, my, my partner, my spouse or whoever or whatever the situation is? What does it look like for me to come in alignment with them, with what I am wanting? And you see, this is this is the biggest the biggest problem that most people aren't in alignment with each other. Most people in, within their relationships, you have two worlds swirling around. They don't even interconnect, but they're two worlds swirling around in a glass jar. And they don't connect. There's no communication. There's absolutely no communication. One thinks it should be done this way, the other thinks it should be done that way, and this one does it that way, and this one does it that way. And what happens, never the twain meet. Or, as it says, you're evenly unyoked. One's pulling and the other one's dragging the heels. So, guys, your life is all about you. And it truly is. And with thought and self-talk, with thought and self-talk and then self-direction, in addition to inspired action, in addition to inspired opportunities, you can literally create the life that you want to live. The other thing that I would definitely say here, guys, is that people, even the people that we love, they come into our lives for a season. And not for, for everybody, it's not for the four seasons or for life. But for some people, they come into your life for a season. And that season is to assist and support you in the next leg of your journey. That reason is to support you in the desires of your heart being manifest, manifested. The desires, i.e. the beliefs within your heart being manifested. But you see, we're, we're creatures of habit and we hold on to things that we should have long ago let go. And as I said before, the universe, known to me as God or whomever your chosen deity is, will move people, places and things in ways that um, we find 
hurtful, in ways that our lives are turned upside down, in ways that leave us filled with confusion. But in reality, there's no confusion. There may be hurt. You can't deny that. There may be hurt. There may be pain. There may be anger. There may be fear. All of that. But the confusion, when you actually stop and you talk to yourself, which for me this year is all about self-talk. When you stop and you, you talk to yourself and you start taking stock of the things that you really want for you, you'll see that the thing that had been removed, however tumultuously, if that's a word, the things that been removed needed to be removed. So you could evolve into who it is that you are here to be and that's not wanting to be it's who you are here to be because as the saying goes you're here on purpose for a purpose and it's all about you doing what it is that you need to do so guys I just wanted to share that with you um, simply that um, sometimes sometimes we have to go through major changes so the desires of our heart which are the things that we believe in, will be made manifest. And they will be made manifest. That's God's law. You believe, you receive. It's God's law. So on that note, guys, um, uh, Carl, Robert, Margaret, uh, Linda, Buddy, um, Isa, um, everybody who joined in, Thank you so much. I hope you guys are having an awesome day. It's an awesome day here in Las Vegas. It's sunny, it's hot, it's nice. Um, so on that note, um, have a wonderful day. And until next time, I'm Dr. Wendy Dearborn. You can find me here at The Laws of Attraction in Action and or The Laws of Attraction. And that's the Facebook group and thelawsofattraction.com. Until next time, guys. Peace. Stay hydrated. Peace.